Hello there, Rhino Horn 125, and today I am doing a um, uh, sorry, part two of two, um, actually part two of three. Sorry, um, but in the uh, subscription in the other video, I put two of two, I think, but really it's two of three of the uh, interrogation room diorama. All right, so there's the figures. So we've got Hydra being interrogated. Um, I got the, uh, a little, like a really long bendy thing, I can't remember where I found it. Got Punisher, which I got from a guy on Instagram. Uh, Amazing Deadpool, and then I can't remember, he has numbers after, and I can't remember there. Um, but, uh, then there's the, um, baton right there. And then over here, I got the table, and I'll show more about the table. Alright, and now I'll get in more detail. Alright, so up here, um, we got some rust, uh, so tell me what you think about it. I'll show you more on the sides of the wall. Uh, up here, this is going to, uh, let me see, one second here. Right, sorry this is taking so long, but, uh. Alright, there. This is jerks. Sorry about that. I need to untighten something. Let me just take this light. This light gets really hot. But, um, see, there's, so there's some... It was just full-on and stuff. And then I just, like, put a real light coat of this color. And that's what the touch-up I did yesterday. I also, um, cut my finger just, um, last night. Trying to cut a piece of wood because I have plans, which I'll get into those plans in a little bit. Just let me put this on here. Alright, so, yeah. Now I'm going to get off this tripod and go down there. Alright, so now we're down here. Uh, I'll show you my uh, tripod here real quick. So there's just a random pillow in there. Here's how it is. And it's got all these tighteners, so now you know how that looks. And you can go like that, make it taller, which is what I should have done, going up and down instead of using this thing to go up and down. This goes side to side really well, but that's not what this video is about. Alright, so now more up close. This is the uh, Kick um, A baton I just used in... Um, just put that like that. Alright, so here's what's on the table. Got a um, Captain America First Avenger handgun, a uh, Bucky Cap handgun, Ninja Turtles knife, but it, it's good size for 6 and 7 inch, a shovel from Team Fortress 2, uh, the soldier, and um, a blade that I got at the flea market, and I have no idea who it was with. Uh, I also had this one night. Um, and then just got the uh, this in the corner. And then the door, which I think the door came out of everything um, really well. Of everything that I made on this that's actually like in the room, uh, this door came out the best. Right now to for the plans of what I am planning on doing. Alright, um, okay, well, before I just need to say something, this video does seem like it's going smooth for you, but just now my iPod went dead, which it is, uh, this is, my iPod's probably gonna move, yeah, see, so it's plugged in, I have a 10 foot cord, so good for me, yeah, so I've had to, the first, very first, when I said, hi, I'm Ryan Horn125, I, uh, had to restart, alright, so that doesn't matter, um, but, you know, what does matter is that his feet are off the ground, and that's not good. I'll deal with that later when I take pictures. Okay, um, so, yeah, so, you already seen this. Okay, now I'm going to talk about my plans. I have plans, okay, I'm going to just go in order. I have plans to put a electric box either over here, on this wall, around here, or right here. Most likely not here, so here, here. Um... Or you guys put in the comments where you put, so if you want it on the left wall, say 
electric box on left wall, one at back on the um, back wall. Just put electric box on the back wall, and then you know right wall, which right wall is pretty blank, so that would be a perfect place. But I'm also the one making it. But I would really like you guys to, you know, give some of your ideas if you guys have experience with dioramas. Maybe give me a few tips. This is actually my very first well done. Took a while to make um, finish diorama. I did have a diorama way back, but that wasn't like a. I didn't really know what I was doing exactly. It was just kind of scrambled, like I had something, and then I kind of thought that would look good like that. So it's just, you know, just slob of a diorama. All right. So now, and I'm also thinking about either putting a vent on this wall here or up here. My brother wanted me to uh, have make a ceiling. And, uh, he wanted me to make a ceiling and like do put a ceiling. Well, I told him that well, I didn't really tell him, I guess, but I do not have like a ceiling on this, as you can see. We're going up here. Uh, yeah, so see here, we don't, I don't have a ceiling, but, uh, what I could do is, um, so I could just make something about the same length and just go across and put the vent, which I know what he's probably thinking, I'm guessing, and if he watches this video, maybe he'll answer the question in the comments. I wonder if he's thinking of aliens when I, he says vent, and the vent I have, uh, in mind is uh, maybe if I make one on the ceiling it's gonna be a big square vent probably about the size of this picture up here something like that that a human could crawl through or if it's on the wall I'll probably just make it like a small rectangular vent probably like I just got this to show probably like that and um, but it's not gonna be that big I'm just this is gonna be the shape but more like, straight um, alright, so, just tell me what you guys think on that, and put it in the comments. Also, I gotta get to some more stuff and plans that I have. Uh, I also have a plan for, I have a few things. I have a thing that says, warning, use, um, use stair rail or something like that. Uh... So, outside this door, it goes down, it's kind of, like, and then there's, like, I, this is just how I imagine, I'm probably not going to make this, but, just kind of imagination. Like, let's say if you open this door, you see a rail, and there's stairs, you go down there, and there's, um, like, kind of, not an alley, but, like, a kind of flat surface, like, under, like, those car parking spots under ground, and then there's, like, a big door that you press, and it opens, whatever. But just that doesn't really matter. Just that there's stairs, cause what the things gonna be. Um, I've also got ideas. Someone told me that if you get it and dab coffee on the thing and like rip it up from the wetness or whatever, it makes it look really good and like it's been there. Um, this is an interrogation room. Uh, it's not like in a shield laboratory. It's kind of like where Punisher goes to interrogate people. It originally was just like some kind of room, uh, so I'm glad I got this Punisher. Uh, I want the Marvel Legends Punisher as well for this, which should be, I wouldn't say better, but just about the same. I like the Punisher with the white symbol, but this one's good too, I guess. I'm not obsessed with Punisher, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, sorry. Um... Alright, so, yeah, that's pretty much my plans. Uh, sorry if this video is a little bit, well, actually, it's about the same, uh, about as long as I thought it would be. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three. Also, stay tuned for my next review, Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord review. Uh, I'm saying that now, but I'll probably end up putting on the Star-Lord review first, so you'll be really confused if you see this and then that, or, I mean, see that, then this, and, you know, whatever. 
Also, stay tuned for more reviews like the um, Guardians of the Galaxy Iron Man. Sorry this is overdue, um, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I would most likely want you to subscribe and comment. Uh, comment to me or subscribing is just like liking. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching.